atheist agnostic. No such thing, my friends. People can say all they want to say that they're atheist or they're an agnostic. No such thing. Every human being was born wired with a spirit. It's what makes us different than animals and anything else in the universe. We have a spirit. And that spirit longs to be with Jehovah God, with Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, mingle with them. And it's just no such thing. You can say all you want to say that you're atheist, you don't believe in God, or you're agnostic. Say what you want to say, but it's just, it doesn't hold water, it doesn't wash. Because deep down inside, every single person knows that God exists because our spirits are already right there. These people just want to be so cool and think they're so smart and they're so clever that they can just go ahead and, and believe what they want to believe and, and just try to put a monkey wrench into everything else and try to say, well, you know, uh, you Christians are so dumb and, and you think that Jesus Christ and, and God exist and we know that uh, we're the captain of our own soul and we make our own rules and we make our own way in life and whatever happens is up to us please you might be selling I'm not buying I know the truth I know what really happens I know what really goes on and you guys you guys are just full of baloney man just it's just so ridiculous and pathetic and what's really really sad is you're gonna stand before Jesus Christ one day with all of us and you know those of us the few of us who actually serve Jesus the right way the way the Holy Bible says cover to cover We'll be standing at the Bema Seat Judgment, waiting to get our rewards and waiting to get our mansions. Praise the Lord that he's prepared for us in the marriage supper of the Lamb. But the majority of you, you have to wait a lot longer. You have to wait that seven years, then a thousand years for the millennial kingdom. When that's over, then you'll be risen from your graves. All the atheists and agnostics and all the other people who never knew Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, who didn't live right, you'll all be raised from your graves. And each and every one of you will be judged at the great white throne judgment and you won't be able to say anything except acknowledge that Jesus Christ is, is King of Kings and Lord of Lords right before he casts you into the lake of fire it's just so sad and it breaks my heart and you know you just can't argue with people like that all you can do is share the good news of Jesus Christ tell them the truth what the Bible says tell them what what they face if they continue to <coughs> want to say that they're atheist or agnostic and refuse to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Just tell them the truth. Tell them you'll be praying for them. And witness for them when you can. And that's all you can do my friends. Everything else is between them and God. You can lead a horse to water. You can't make them drink. The water of life. Jesus Christ. You can lead someone in the darkness to light. The light of Jesus Christ from the darkness of Satan. But you can't make them stay in the light. Okay. So. Agnostics. Atheists. Like I said. You guys don't really believe that. You guys are just fooling yourselves. You guys are trying to be cool guys and tough guys and trying to go against the grain and trying to deny what you know deep down inside of your soul and your spirit to be the truth. And it would be, you know, so easy to just stop the madness, stop being cocky and stop being arrogant and conceited and just fall on your knees and ask Jesus Christ to forgive you of your sins. Ask him to be your Lord and Savior. Because what do you have to lose? Because the bottom line is, if I'm right, and heaven does exist, and hell does exist, and Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior of all, and God, Jehovah, is his Father, and if we are saved by Jesus Christ, his Son's blood, we'll spend forever in heaven, and if we're not, we'll spend forever in hell. If I'm right, then, hey, then that's what you've got to look forward to. And if I'm wrong, then I'm living the life that I want to live anyways, I'm being a Christian, I'm living for the Lord. I'm, I'm being good and, and just trying to do all the Bible says cover to cover. So what do you have to lose, a so-called atheist and agnostics, to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and, and live for him? Because if you're wrong about your beliefs and God does exist, Jehovah God, Jesus Christ is his son and is the only way to heaven. And if you don't ask Jesus Christ to forgive you of your sins, you will spend forever burning in the lake of fire and hell. If that's the fact... The man, you've made an eternal mistake. There's no do-overs. There's no timeouts. There's no rewinds. There's no, wait a second, Lord, I wasn't ready. When that silver cord that your life breaks, wherever you are, 
with Jesus Christ at that moment in time is where you'll spend forever and eternity. It's time to get serious, my friend. It's time to get real. It's time to get real serious. Stop playing games. Stop fooling yourself. Stop trying to be the cool guy. And just pick up a Holy Bible, Genesis to Revelation, all 66 books, verse, chapter, book. Read it. Absorb it. Watch videos from people like me who preach the truth. I mean, there's, there's so many Christians out there that are poisonous and liars. I hesitate to tell you to watch a lot of videos because the lion's share that I've seen don't even preach the truth. But there's some of us that do. But the Holy Bible is what you'll know is always true. You can bounce it off what other people say. Because if what I say is not in the Bible, you know I'm a false prophet. If what I say isn't a Bible, you know I'm a straight shooter. Telling you exactly what the Holy Bible does say, which is what I do in all my ministries. I don't preach anything but the Holy Bible. Because I'm responsible for God for what I say and don't say. And if I lead people to hell by telling lies, I'm responsible to God for that. So I'll be praying for you guys every day, atheists and agnostics. If you have a friend or a family member who is atheist or agnostic, get this video out to them. And make sure you pray for them every day. Witness to them whenever you can. Because eternity is forever. It's, it's, it's forever. I don't want anybody to die and go to hell. I want everybody to be able to go to heaven. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, again, I don't believe in atheists and agnostics. And I don't believe you believe in them either. I know you created everybody with the Spirit. So you know the truth. Please help these people to just take the blinders off their eyes. Help the scales fall from their eyes. Help them to see the truth. Help them to come to know you as Lord and Savior, Jesus, before it's too late. I pray that you would not give them any rest, any peace in their lives, any comfort, any satisfaction, any joy, any accomplishment, nothing. I pray you to hound them, Jesus, that you would rebuke them, correct them, teach them, convict them. Don't give them any peace until they come to know you as Lord and Savior. I pray for them every day that they would come to you, Jesus, along with everyone else that's lost. Help them, Lord. Help us to witness to them. Help us to be good examples to them. Help us all to pray for them every day. In precious name I ask it. Amen. If you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life. And I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day, went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. And since that time, you've been making a place for all Christians in heaven forever. Please forgive me of my sins, Jesus. Come live in my heart. Make me whole. Wash me clean and pure. A new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. You pray this prayer, my friends. Jesus says in the Bible with his own words that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. If you'd like me to pray with you to be saved, send me an inbox or private message. I'd love to pray with you. It's my joy. If you have a friend, neighbor, loved one, co-worker, stranger, anyone who does not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, if you have a sick friend, neighbor, loved one, co-worker, if you're sick, if you have a sick pet, if you need a job, car, home, food, clothes, water, whatever you need is, if you'd like someone to pray with you, someone that believes, send me an inbox or private message. I prayed for, God gave me the gift of faith, my friends. Nothing that I did. It's all 100% God. And I praise him for it. I have mustard seed faith like the Bible talks about now. He's turned me loose on the world. <laughs> and I, man, I get hundreds of prayer requests all the time. And I pray for people believing in my heart. And I speak with my mouth, 100% believing that God will answer all my prayers if I pray in his holy will. And, and my friends, he has answered so many prayers, performed so many miracles through my faith and belief. Not me, just my believing in faith as a humble slave. I'm the least in the kingdom of God. I'm a tiny fish in a huge pond. I'm a slave to Jesus Christ. But I had that mustard seed faith. He's answered so many prayers, performed so many miracles. I can't even tell you all of them. It would take me so long to even go over them. But test him. He'll do the same for you, my friends. His word never returns empty. Believe him. I appreciate everybody watching this video. We're so busy in life. I know how busy everybody is. I'm swamped all the time, too. Thanks for watching it. Please, don't keep it to yourself. Share the link to this whole channel, this video, any other of the 218 videos that I have on here. They all belong to God. Share them with whoever you want to share them with. Share them with family members, friends, neighbors, co-workers. Share them with strangers. Drop it in a, in a blog somewhere online. Drop it in a link somewhere online. Drop it in a, a post somewhere on Amazon, you know, uh, Yahoo, MSN, MSNBC, Google, wherever. Plant the seed. Walk away. And let God water it so it can grow. People need to hear the old-fashioned word of God preached the way that I preach it. Not because I'm anybody. It's all for Jesus Christ's glory. I'm just his slave. He gives me every word, every, every message, and every title and everything. But if they don't hear the good news of Jesus Christ, the way it's written in the Bible, the way it's preached here, and, and, if, and some a few others that do it this way, they can't be saved, repent of sins and iniquities. They can't be, be sanctified. They can't have miracles happen in their lives. They can't get off the sidelines and reap the harvest and help us. 
to get out there and do it. I love you guys so much. I pray for you every day. It's my prayer that God would bless each and every one of you. Thank you.